What's going on guys, my name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today we are covering the effect from Big Sean's music video, ZTFO. So if you saw this music video, you can see that he is kind of sitting in a meditative pose. It shows him levitating over the pool and a nice reflection in the pool. So I tried going to my neighborhood pool to see if it was still open. It was not, unfortunately. So I had to resort to shooting myself just sitting on an obstacle with my camera about a foot off the ground looking up at me. Now that's important to match the angle of the camera looking up with you to where the subject is floating in relevance of where the camera is sitting. So I took a shot from our recent trip to Mexico of the pool. It's always a little bit more difficult to match a subject with the background if they're not actually in the same place, which is why I wanted to do the neighborhood pool because that would have been easier just to match. So things to keep in mind would be the direction of the sunlight. So where the shadows are cast on you versus where they are in the background. Then the other things would be like exposure and contrast, things like that. It's not impossible, but you just gotta look out for those things. And I honestly could have done a better job had I just been shirtless and wearing swim trunks because I don't look like I belong at the pool. All right, so we're gonna open up After Effects and add the subject clip to the composition. Starting at the beginning, you're gonna want to mask out your subject. I chose to mask instead of rotoscope to be more accurate because I knew that I didn't move that much, so I wouldn't have to make too many adjustments over the duration of the effect to the mask. Now, leave that mask mode on Add. Now we're going to make a second mask for my clip specifically because there's a gap between my arm and my t-shirt, and then we're gonna change that mode to subtract. Make sure that you're still at the beginning of the effect and turn on the mask path keyframes for all of the masks that you made. I then bumped up the feather of the mask to three just to add a little bit of softness. Now go ahead and place your background clip below your subject clip. Now make sure that you have your subject clip selected. Now move forward about a half second or so and then see any part of the mask that needs to be readjusted because even when your subject is sitting very still, chances are you're gonna have to make some adjustments to the mask. Now just keep doing that, move forward a few frames and then adjust the mask as needed until you've reached the end of the effect. Don't forget to do the same thing to any other mask that you made. For example, the one that I made in between my shirt and my arm. Now duplicate your subject clip and move its position down and then make it a 3D layer by clicking that box icon. Now that it's a 3D layer, you'll see See that orientation exists in the transform option so we're just going to move that first value in the orientation so that you can flip it down and make it look like a mere reflection of itself keep in mind though it's not going to be a full 180 because the subject and the pool are perpendicular now click toggle switches and modes and change the blend mode of the reflection clip to overlay I decided to lower the reflections opacity and the value that I went with was 84% search for the effect turbulent displace and add it to the reflection clip. We're now going to make adjustments to that effect so that the reflection looks like it's actually moving in the water. Starting at the beginning of the effect, turn on the evolution keyframes. Now go to the end of the clip and then change the value of the evolution. I found that 9x worked really well for me, but it might not for you, depending on the body of water your subject's reflecting onto. Now without keyframing the next values, I changed the amount to 80, the size to 65, the complexity to 2.5, and the random seed value to 15. Now once again, those values might not look best for your body of water. So I encourage you to play around with it and see what works best. All right, the last thing that we need to do is keyframe the position of the subject and the reflection to account for the hovering, the bobbing that's going on. Now, go to the beginning of the effect on the main subject and turn on the position keyframes. I went for a slower bobbing look, so every second and a half I adjusted the position, either moved it down or moved it up. After that, go ahead and highlight your keyframes and then right click and then add easy ease. Now once you've added the same hover effect to your reflection clip, you are done. That is how you do Big Sean ZTFO hovering effect and with a reflection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.